Hello. So Hi. <laughs> here we are. This is for problem solving course we have. And I am Maria. Here is Ariana. Hi. We are talking about problem solving. So, uh, question Ariana. As far as mathematics and children go, what are your dreams? Oh, uh, my my dream is that children like mathematics. So it's uh, so so often that people have bad experiences with mathematics, and usually these experiences are coming from their uh, childhood or from being in school. So if people would like mathematics, that means that they would have a very good experiences in their childhood and uh, during their uh, school time. I don't know if you say in English when all these years when you go to school. So what does it mean for you to like mathematics? How does that work? I don't know, to investigate to uh, look for problems and solve them without uh, a teacher asking you to do that. When when you are when you do something from pleasure, so if you like biking, you go to bike. Your mom or your father or I don't know, no one has to push you to do it. So actually, I think it's something similar with mathematics also. So you. Important uh, choices that the person chooses to do some, something, yeah. something, and investigation. Can you talk more about investigation? Uh, somehow, I feel that during uh, our math lessons, we are all the time teaching students. So we say, "This is I don't know the theorem." So this is the hypothesis and the conclusion, this is the proof, and they just have to learn it. So somehow I think it should be the other way around. So actually students should explore things to, I don't know, to be interesting for them to learn. So actually if I'm saying this and that, students might be, might be interested, usually uh, very good students in mathematics are interested in that, but those who are uh, who, who don't like very much mathematics or are not very proficient in mathematics, I'm, they might be lose, I think, after the hypothesis of the, the theorem, for example. So somehow if they explore, even if maybe their exploration might not lead to the, the result we, we expect, uh, I think this might be a very good learning experience for them. So actually, I, I think it's important to do it in this way. So it's very interesting to me because it turns out investigation is also about choices. <laughs> yeah, actually, yes, you are right. <laughs> <laughs> so you uh, <laughs> it's about choices actually only yeah yeah that's so, right but in a different manner so students choose how to go about something yes yes that's right and uh, what level what things so uh, let's say we want to offer some problems uh, how can we not take away those choices because the choices is your dream <laughs> how can we make sure we support all that choice uh, I think it it should be a problem which might be uh, different uh, and that 
people understand it in different ways. So it's somehow uh, if if the problem is uh, very uh, let's say from from life, then how to solve the problem? You can choose the way you you do it. So actually, you are not going on based on an algorithm or I don't know this this kind of things. And if the problem is not, I don't know, you don't set like two three questions and that's it. But these questions are uh, somehow opening. Uh, the eyes of the, the people who wants to solve it and I don't know gets also other answers to questions which are not really asked in in the problem so somehow it leads somehow the the person who who solves the problem to uh, further thinking on the problem let's say so what I hear let me say what I heard Okay. So choice is most important. That's yeah. cho choice is the queen of mathematics, <laughs> <laughs> right? And chaos and choice. <laughs> okay. So uh, and then to get this in problem solving, we open up the problems. Yeah. So the problems should be open for different interpretations. It's not just one problem. It's you can change it you can take it in different directions the question you ask if you ask any as as a leader as a teacher as a parent it's just an example of a questions for students they, it's up to them to ask billions other questions yeah and try to find answers to that so to those. so yeah. it's it almost become you are inviting students to pose problems rather than to solve problems, well, well, to solve too, but also to, to change, to open, to question, all this. Yeah, yeah you are right, <laughs> yeah, you are right. So, yeah. so we, in your dream world, <laughs> student, problems are open and students are choosing how to go about them and posing different questions and changing things, exploring far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I want this course to be about our dreams coming true. <laughs> yeah, okay. <I'm> right. <laughs> A modest desire, right? <laughs> <laughs> so um, we put up three sets of problems. And now I want to invite you to open them up. <laughs> <laughs> so... And you can invite your students in term in turn. So you, uh, who, who, the people you work with, who 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 you'll be working with for this? Uh, I will work with uh, a very young kid, which is my granddaughter. She is two years old. I don't know if it will be possible to adapt the problems, but we'll see. And uh, three kids of my friends. They are. Uh, till 11 o'clock, uh, 11 years old. So actually, it's primary. Okay. I hope you can adapt it to a two-year-old. There are several people trying. Okay. <laughs> so um, we will see what happens. I'm very devoted to this part because I work with young kids. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, I, I really hope this happens. So best of success to you there. <laughs> let's let's try. Um, but the, I think the idea is uh, to open these problems up, to to make it so kids can have this playroom there. Yeah. Okay. So so this week we are planning. So uh, we put up the problems. Uh, ha have you seen where they are? I've uh, had a short look. I think uh, two days ago, but not okay. more than this. Just to make sure you... Okay. I know that they are there. Okay. I know you, know, are there. you know where they are. You know yeah. where they live. Okay. That's what I am asking because uh, you have until uh, the 
end of the week until Sunday to plan. And when you plan, think of your dream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Because it's a beautiful dream. Yeah, at, at least I like it. It's my. And uh, if you if you don't mind me saying it, uh, the way you expressed it, I I think I I, um, I I'd like to join your cause. And okay. <laughs> it's beautiful to me. Okay, I'm glad to hear it. Mm -hmm. So, um, th these were my questions about dreams. Do you have questions or comments? We're talking now, maybe something about the course. No, it, it, it looked for me very clear, but it's just before starting it. So, you know, maybe questions will come up later on. But I, I saw there is a forum, so I think I, I can find questions. Uh, I can ask questions there and maybe someone will answer if it will be something unclear. Okay. We'll make sure of that. Yeah. Uh, so, um, so people will answer, at least the organizers will answer. Um, yeah, do post questions on the forums. You know where I am in Skype and by email, so uh, you can always come back too. Okay, the forums is good, uh, a good place because people, other people will see the answers. Yeah, that's right. We are learning from others' questions. Mm -hmm. And speaking of learning, uh, what do you hope to learn? What is the change that you hope the course will bring you? Uh, actually, I'm really very interested in the problems uh, we will have to work with. So, actually, I think they are... Uh, different problems uh, or at least are not problems that we are used to in the school curricula. So I do hope that it is something different. So actually I do hope to, to learn uh, from the problems you, are, um, you give us to, to try. Uh, and uh, on the other hand, I, I, I think that Whatever ideas have you tried in your lessons, it's never enough. It's somehow, uh, I, I always like to, to have uh, new ideas for, for my lessons. And I do hope that it will be, this course will be a place where I'm, I, I'll be able to pick up some ideas to, to bring to my students make the dreams come true yeah. okay <laughs> this is beautiful so uh, learn what makes the problems different and, yeah uh, is, is uh, what you want to to investigate okay yeah, yeah. thank you thank you uh, Ariana I'm going to stop the recording